In the 1950s, many Americans were aware that comics were being used to undermine the morals of their children. However, when the so-called golden age of comics began in the 1930s, the glorification of evil through comics was already afoot. Take for instance Superman, the most popular superhero of all time. In the very first incarnation of Superman by Jerry Siegel and Joe Shuster in 1933 was not an altruistic and virtuous good guy who came to save the day, but rather an evil villain seeking world domination through terror. Incredibly, many are unaware that Siegel derived his name for Superman from the English translation of Friedrich Nietzsche's Übermensch, who inspired Hitler and the Nazis to use social Darwinism to create a pure Superman race. This satanically inspired teaching led to the death of over 70 million people, including the killing of 6 million Jews, most of which were murdered in concentration camps. Siegel Superman was a villain predating the rise of Nazism, who was created not by Hitler and the Nazis, but a mad scientist who used a potion on a vagrant in a breadline, giving him telepathic powers. The newly empowered vagrant used these powers to seek to rule the world. Through the years, Superman's look and origin story was morphed by Siegel and others until he was transformed into the popular version we have today. While Siegel's original depiction of Superman as a Crowleyan-like character who used his occult powers of clairvoyance and mind control to seek to rule the world, there is an incredibly sick irony that has come full circle. This sick irony, which we shall more fully discover in the course of this documentary series, is that Superman has been depicted in DC Comics by leading comic writer Grant Morrison, a practitioner of Crowley's satanic magic, as Horus, who represents the crown, a conquering child of the coming new eon of Horus, who Crowley taught would usher in a Superman race of occultists who would rule the world under the coming Antichrist. What has happened throughout the history of comics is that Jesus is often given a makeover and made to look like the devil or satanic, while villains are made to look virtuous and Christ-like. Much of Jesus' origin story and character was ripped off and given to Superman to make him appear more and more like Christ the Savior, though he has always been a counterfeit Christ. Screenwriter Tom Mankiewicz admitted that he consciously made Superman an allegory for Christ in the 1978 movie Superman starring Christopher Reeve. He stated that for Superman the movie, he wrote parallels from the biblical narrative of God sending Christ and Jor-El sending Superman on Krypton. I was intending it to be almost semi-biblical, and people spoke in very stilted, elegant English. My friends, you know me to be neither rash nor impulsive. I'm not given to wild, unsupported statements. The metaphor was clearly there when Jor-El sends Superman to Earth of God sending Christ to save humanity. Jor-El gives his son a messianic mission to lead humanity into a brighter future, and Kal-El's spaceship is made to resemble the Star of Bethlehem. By the way, the very Hebrew word El is the word used throughout the Bible for God. Martha, who had originally been named Mary, and who was unable to have children, like Mary, states, All these years, as happy as we've been, how I've prayed and prayed the good Lord see fit to give us a child. Jor-El tells Superman that he has sent him to save humanity as his only son. Live as one of them, Kalel, to discover where your strength and your power are needed. To always hold in your heart the pride of your special heritage. They can be a great people, Kalel, they wish to be. They only lack the light to show the way. For this reason, above all, their capacity for good. I have sent them you, my only son. David Nutter, the director of the Smallville pilot, when commenting on the episode when Clark is hung up on a scarecrow mast by some bullies, which resembles a cross, Nutter states, quote, I thought there were a lot of metaphors between Clark and Jesus, actually, and I tried to throw in as many of them as I could, end quote. Zack Snyder, who directed Batman vs. Superman, and who directed the 2013 movie Superman Man of Steel, admitted, the Christ-like parallels, I didn't make that stuff up. That is a tried and true Superman metaphor, end quote. Folks, when comic writers and artists are seeking over and over again to empty Christ of his virtue and godhood, and at the same time robbing Christ of those same virtues and giving them to the superheroes, I think we all know who the ultimate superhero really is.